So what I've done uh, to include Burton to the Internet of Things was uh, utilize the popular protocol MQTT to receive messages. And uh, I, I've uh, attached a device to my uh, Prius that I drive to get the data off the onboard diagnostics computer and uh, publish that data to a PHP script and then take that data and store it into a SQL database and publish those same data points to an MQTT broker, which I'm able to receive in a BERT report as well as show uh, correlations of historical data at the same time. Why did we do this in the first place? Well, it, IoT is becoming popular and uh, it's all about uh, making things smart. And the only way to make uh, devices smarter is to be able to ask the right questions of those devices. And BERT's a perfect fit to be able to look at that historical data and uh, say, okay, this correlates here and here, so we can go ahead and adjust, in this case, uh, the air to fuel mixture ratio or uh, some other type of car data. You hacked into a Prius. How hard was that? And tell us about the process. Uh, that, that was actually the simplest part of the entire thing because it's a little $70 port that I attached into onto the uh, plug underneath the dash that all cars now have. And uh, you plug that in and using an application that uh, was wrote for the device that I used, uh, the rest uh, kind of handled itself. I uh, put the script on my server and from there it was just uh, hacking it to uh, upload to the uh, server and uh, to uh, SQL. What kind of data did you want to get and what kind of data did you, did you get? Well, the kind of data I wanted to get was everything, but uh, the kind of data that I actually got was my, uh, I wanted to, I ana analyzed the uh, gas mileage and I wanted to also see uh, what was the biggest impact on my driving habits on that gas mileage. And how were you able to visualize that? I was able to use uh, open source BERT's uh, charting to uh, take that historical data and uh, put the RPMs on the x-axis and the uh, miles per gallon on the y-axis and also correlate things in there such as engine temperature. And why is this an important project for people to keep an eye on? I'm sorry, what was that? Why is it an important project for people to keep an eye on? It's an important project for people to keep an eye on, not necessarily because it's about cars, but it's about showing how BERT can connect to things uh, in the IoT world. And uh, since MQTT is the uh, popular protocol to use, it just uh, shows a way in which we can utilize uh, and uh, leverage that protocol uh, without having to change anything in BERT, just using a uh, library that's already out there, which is the PAHO client JavaScript library.